Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest and we're going to find the time it takes to get to a certain amount in years. So we're focusing on time in years. So take a moment, read the problem, give it a shot, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we're told that Aubrey has a bank account and it pays 2.4% simple interest. Let's just label that right away. This is our R value. It's our interest rate. And it's 2.4%, so that's 2.4 out of 100, and that equals 0 0.024 because we want to evaluate our rate as a decimal. The starting balance is 48.30, okay? When will the account grow to a future value of $5,525.52? Okay, so this, let's label these things as well. The starting balance, this number right here, this is P. That's our principal, and it's 48.30. And we want to know when will the account grow to a future value of this. So this is our goal, our future value. When will our, our balance rise up to this amount. So first thing I want to find out is how much is the account going up by? So I want to do my future value minus my principal. So 5525, 5525.52, that's our future value, minus the principal, 4830. So that's our first calculation. What we're really finding when we look at this is called the interest I. This is the amount of interest that we're gaining. So let's calculate that. So 55 point, nope, 5525.52, make sure I got that right, yep, minus 4830, okay. So that's our interest amount, 695.52. So 695.52, that just means this is the amount that our account is increasing by. That's going to become valuable to us. That's our I value because the interest you get equals the principal times the rate of interest times the amount of time that your money is in the account. So we're trying to find, what are we trying to find? When will the account grow? When? How much time will it take? When will the account grow? We're trying to find T. So we might start by simplifying this equation right away, or you could just plug in the numbers if that helps you. But to get T by itself, we have to get rid of P and R. So instead of multiplying by P and R on both sides, I'm going to divide both sides by P and R. I'm going to rewrite my equation. So these are going to cancel. Let me use red for canceling. It feels very satisfying. Boom, cancel. Why do they cancel? Because P times R is a number. And it's the same number as this p times r, and two equal things divide to one. Zero is a different case, but two, two non-zero equal things divide to one. So that means that the time is equal to interest over principal times rate. And I'm going to rewrite that formula over here. So we're saying that time, so this is saying these two equation sets are the same thing, if and only if time equals interest over principal times rate. So now we just plug in the numbers that we have. The interest is 695, right? I'm trying to find interest. That is, let me use yellow. That is 695.52. 695.52 over the product of the principal times the rate. So 4830, right? Our principal is right here. P, 4830 times our, our rate, which is 0 0.024, 0 0.024. Okay, so our time equals that. Let's calculate it. Now when you calculate something like this, just be careful. You've got a product in your denominator. You want to put that in parentheses. So 695.52, and we're dividing it by the product, the multiplication of, there's my parentheses, 48.30 times 0.024, close parentheses, enter. Oh, so six, <laughs> so six years. So it'll take six years for, for this amount to reach this amount. So each year we'll get 2.4% simple interest added to our account. 
and it's simple interest, so it's always 2.4% based on this principle right here. And that's it. I hope that helped.